Hi friends, and the vegan. <laughs> yeah, that's so much fun dancing. I'm dancing all day. That's what I'm doing, inside outside. <laughs> and that makes me inspired. I feel inspired. That makes me open to new ideas. Yeah, it's so nice. I mean, I have um, now a new smoothie here in the making. It's a green smoothie, and the classic combination with basil and orange. Basil orange, that is the classic, it's a, an amazing flavor. Here I have a bunch of basil here, and I've pressed some orange juice today. Yeah, I had to press the juice here, that's a four oranges or so, four or five oranges, and a whole bunch of basil. The flavor combination is outstanding, the health benefits are outstanding. This is wakes you up, it's a Mediterranean herb, one of the mint family, they are all super healthy, cultivated for thousands of years, this is waking. The mind, the brain, wakes up a chemical inside. It's proven. Very good. And this one is, of course, vitamin C, we always think about, but it's more calcium even. Yeah. Uh, we have to say juices are usually not as um, nutrient dense as a whole fruit, but more fruit go into the juice, so um, the nutrients are pretty much the same you get when you drink a juice because there are more fruit in there and a small amount of juice. Yeah. So you, I wouldn't put four oranges in this or five oranges in this smoothie. Yeah? It would, they wouldn't fit in, it would be a huge smoothie. This here with four oranges juice is still a small smoothie, but there are still four oranges in there. Yeah. So the nutrient amount is pretty much the same, but you have no fiber in the juice. And that is not the main topic today. The main topic today is fiber, of my little talk here, uh, because the fiber is that what makes a smoothie a smoothie. It has to be creamy, smooth, gentle, and the texture. Yeah? That is what a smoothie gives its name. And what does that in a food is the fiber. The fiber is what also what um, discriminates plants and animals. We don't have fiber in animal products. Yeah? There's no fiber. We have fiber in plants only, and each plant has their own fiber, and usually that was considered before, in the 60s, 70s, I think, fiber was considered something we don't need, and we don't digest it anyway. But then later we found out oh, there are different kinds of fiber, and fiber can also be digested a little bit. So we learn more and more, and with veganism, with the rise of veganism in the 2013s, 14s, a huge amount of research was done yeah, to, 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 to find out about plants, what the plants really are. We know so much more now than before. Still, we don't know much. We don't know that much yet, but we know enough. Enough to say plants are more healthy to, for us to eat than animals. <laughs> That's for sure. And we know also that there are these fibers are the basic um, difference between animals and plant foods that make us healthy. Fiber is so important. One of, more, one of the most important, I say. There are saturated fats that are very bad, therefore animal products mostly, and so on. There are other things that is not so good for us. Uh, the animal protein is very bad, and so on and so on. But the fiber is one of the main parts of it. And that we only learn uh, so slowly. Yeah. Um, so the fiber, for the fiber, I add into a smoothie, yeah, um, for example, um, papaya fruit. Yeah. This is a papaya fruit, a small one. I have um, um, peeled it and seeded it, and I will put some dates into it. And also, a lot of fiber in the dates, super mineral, super healthy, and make it sweeter. Because, you know, the orange juice can sometimes be a little bit more sour, depends on the oranges. You don't always get the super ripe, sun-ripened tomato oranges all the time. So the date helps also with always with, um, if you have the fruit that is not perfect, yeah. Look, what can we do? And we didn't live in nature, <laughs> most of us. So we help us a little bit. And a date is a very perfect uh, way to make this, the fruit more sweet, to give it more sugar. And in a healthy way, dates are healthy. And I put some lemons to it to balance it again. Balance is also a great antioxidant. There are so many health benefits to the lemon. And I continue immediately, right away, with the third additional ingredient here, that is the uh, ginger piece. I have a, root, a piece of ginger root here. You see, not too much. It's a fire adding the fire 
to the orange, to the lemon, to the date. Ginger is perfect together with lemon. It's a classic combination to refine recipes. It's not so much in the foreground. It more boosts the original flavors of the orange, for example. Yeah. And here also for the ginger, uh, for, the, for, the, for the basil. The basil is also uh, boosted the flavor by the ginger and lemon combination. Yeah. And um, the, the papaya, this is the main fiber part here. Yeah. I will use, in another smoothie, I used bananas instead of papayas. Yeah. The banana um, uh, allows me to make this smoothie with whole oranges. Because the banana turns this smoothie into um, a liquid, runny. Whereas um, in this smoothie, I don't take bananas. Um, instead, I take papayas. You can take you can take papayas instead of bananas in a smoothie, but it's not as runny. This is uh, more fiber in the papaya. That makes it also very healthy. And if you have more fiber, you need more liquid to make it runny. And that's why I have to press the orange juice. Yeah. You can take any kind of orange juice. So that's important today. I replace the banana with papaya. And the papaya is not as, gets not as runny in the smoothie. So I use, instead of full oranges, I have um, the pressed juice. This is the main story for today. And the, the fiber story I have to tell you, uh, I, have to, I wanted to explain to you a little bit uh, because um, that's how I compose my recipes. My video channel is also about how to create new recipes every day because the variety of food, yeah, the variety is such an important part for our health. Yeah. The more different foods you eat, plants, always talking about plants, not animals, animals not good to eat. <laughs> but the more, the more different plants we eat, the healthier it gets because all of the different nutrients in the plants, they work together in the food synergy. That's why variety is so important. And I love to explain the endless variety of vegan. Um, Oops, because um, we don't only to begin to explore that. When we were all fixed on animal food, yeah, most of us, uh, like thousands of years ago, when we began, uh, animal agriculture began 10,000 years ago, and our whole our wealth, the wealth of our culture, is very much based on this exploitation of animals. And human slaves also have been part of the wealth of whole cultures, like the Roman Empire. The power of the Roman Empire, of the Western Hemisphere, all over the planet, the half part of the planet, not Asia, was based on exploitation of uh, animal slaves. Yeah, it's true, you can read the history books of it. And animal agriculture, uh, human slaves, no. Animal agriculture is another kind of slavery. That's still uh, the main base, one of the, main, one of the main bases of our culture. Okay, in modern times they changed a little bit. Animal agriculture is a big part. Yeah? So, I, I, oh, I didn't show you. This is um, my... Uh, other main green here this is a spinach. I have some fresh spinach, spinach here. I washed it thoroughly. It's a huge amount of spinach and that is important to wash the sp fresh spinach because it usually comes from the field and has a lot of sand and the sand has to be washed out yeah, because otherwise you have it in the teeth. It's very unpleasant to eat. And that's why I wash the spinach so thoroughly and then I put it back in the refrigerator and it keeps for some time but not too long. Spinach is very tender. And it has a problem with oxalates. We couldn't eat spinach uh, every day because then we have kidney stones probably. That is not very good, very painful. And um, to avoid that, uh, we just eat it only once in a week or so. Yeah. There are so many greens yeah, you can choose. Yeah, spinach is very healthy, but not too often. And the other green yeah, I showed you before is the basil. So basil, spinach. This is today um, the big green portion. Greens should be eaten every day. <laughs> And to make it nice in a smoothie, I put now the papaya, I show you again, a small amount of papaya. Then to, to add more fiber, the dates, I have five dates here, small dates. A lemon, yeah. I need here more dates because uh, the whole lemon here is very sour, so um, that makes the, the, the lemon, uh, the, the date and the lemon in harmony. And to add a fire, the ginger. And fire is also good here in this recipe because of the papaya. Papaya has a very gentle flavor. It's super healthy. It, they take it in Indian, they take it in the traditional kitchen, they take it for um, the eyes. They say papaya is so good for the eyes. There is a very special enzyme in the papaya um, that is very healthy for the body. And um, papaya is um, a super food, they say. Uh, they eat it all the time in India. Um, but 
um, it is a very gentle flavor and it likes very much um, spicy additions like ginger and that's why I put the fire in here also. And now the orange juice, I put a good amount of orange juice in there. I begin maybe with um, two thirds, it's half a liter, so two thirds of it maybe. And I can always add a little bit later. I don't want to have to, I have to then to maybe adjust this, 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 the texture of this movie. So a long talk now, and now blender dance. <laughs> smoothie looks like when I runs into the glass you see I pour it you see it's a nice texture I love this texture I couldn't have taken oranges here otherwise it would have been a thick very thick cream wouldn't have been a smoothie anymore more a pudding I couldn't do that together with a papaya and, um, and I still wanted to have the orange flavor because this is the, the basil and orange combination that is so enticing to me I love it it's a classic combination and um, well the fiber, once again, the main topic of this uh, video today, the fiber is um, um, something that is so important for us because um, the main nutrients yeah, that give us energy, that is fat and sugar, very dense, these nutrients, they are getting um, moderated. Yeah. Uh, the fiber keeps it in balance how much and how fast these nutrients go into the bloodstream and from the blood into the muscles. Without the fiber, you have sugar and fat spikes in insulin, insulin that's very important to digest. Um, and it can be, uh, the, the, this is the base of the sugar, uh, the diabetes, uh, the insulin is very important. And so this get imbalanced, yeah. If the insulin in resistance and all these kind of, th kind of things come if you don't eat enough fiber. Yeah. So fiber is, that, that's, the, that's the, the reason why fiber is so important. Uh, medically, but also we have to see, we have to understand uh, more and more, science goes on, that each fiber, each plant has their own fiber and each fiber has their own health benefits. So there are endless amounts of stories to tell about fibers, but, but the basic things you know, for health, most important for the basic facts to, to avoid the main diseases, that's what health science is most about today. Uh, avoiding the big diseases here, yeah, diabetes, heart attack, heart disease, and different certain kind of cancer, uh, dementia. These are very the most important diseases we have. The most uh, uh, causes of early death are these diseases. Uh, very expensive for our health systems. We have to take care of that now. I guess it's time to do that now because we know um, since a year now, for a year now, it's uh, the big science is out. Uh, that we have to eat not stop eating animals because that is the main cause of our diseases. Right now, actually, uh, the facts uh, are clear, but the people are very slow to react and they don't want to give up their, their habits. And well, um, I guess um, these days are very critical for us. Here we all suffer uh, from this um, corona disease, so it's time. Uh, to rethink and to, to make changes and it is a crisis of the health system, we know that. That is uh, basically the main part of the culture that is attacked now. Um, if the health system is okay in a country, the many many people will not die. Um, they would have died otherwise and if the health system is weak, as we see in other poor countries, many people will die and that is very, very, very bad. We don't want to have that. 
Yeah. So as we people as the people and the, so the, the, the countries, yeah, the governments and the people understand how critical is a health system, we begin to understand that we have to change the health system and that begins with prevention, eating the right food. That's only veganism has brought us this knowledge. Yeah. So and there's a chance, I guess, to have some more right, bigger changes now, cha changes now in our culture due to this crisis. It's a very bad crisis. We suffer bad about it, but badly about it. Many people die. Uh, hopefully, we will learn about it. It's a very sad story, but um, it's a chance for veganism too. Yeah, and yeah, fiber is a main part of this, and we begin to research um, more and more understanding, and um, it's a very big reason for eating plants yeah, instead of animals. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you have questions or remarks, you can always reach me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Yeah. I have a postings of nice photos uh, there uh, every day uh, from my uh, recipes and you can also subscribe MD Vegan, that's my channel on YouTube. You have another recipe every single day and also there you can comment and I will as soon as possible uh, answer. See you soon.